Uh, Egypt has declared seven days of national mourning in response to the deaths of these Egyptian Coptic Christians. Can you give us your reaction to those deaths? Well, my reaction is the exact uh, reaction of every Egyptian who was shocked by this barbaric uh, crime committed against uh, innocent Egyptian trying to earn a living uh, in Libya. Uh, so we're saddened, shocked, but we believe that, uh, we've, uh, that this is part of, uh, of a whole uh, phenomena we've been facing in Egypt and throughout the Arab world in the last few years. Uh, we need to uh, pull uh, our force together and face uh, this threat uh, uh, that is coming closer to home. And by home, I mean not only Egypt, but I mean also Europe. Well, yes, and, and as part of that, Egypt has carried out these bombing raids in Libya. What can, details can you give of that military operation? Actually, uh, uh, I don't have uh, a full detailed report. We know that Egyptian uh, warplane has bombarded uh, southern Libya, uh, Libya in the, the city of Derna, which is actually under the control of uh, Daesh or ISIL. Uh, we have been able to destroy some of their arm depot, a communication center, and some reports are pointing to the death of uh, 50 of their fighters. Uh, this is uh, what I have uh, in terms of uh, Egypt uh, reaction so far. And is this a one-off action by Egypt, or do you see this as part of a longer-term involvement by Egypt in the coalition's fight against Islamic State and Islamic State sympathizers? Well, Egypt is a firm uh, member of, of the coalition uh, against ISIL. Uh, we've been fighting uh, uh, ISIL in Egypt, in northern Sinai, and now uh, we've been, we are fighting them uh, in Libya. So uh, uh, as far as Egypt's commitment, uh, is, it has been there, it will remain and will continue in the future. The problem is that uh, uh, we and you and everyone has failed so far to snuff this uh, organization out. We need really to act together and I think what happened yesterday is a demonstration that it's what's happening in Syria and Iraq is now moving to Libya. Libya where the Egyptian uh, airplane struck was uh, 300 kilometers away from Italian uh, coastline. So can we expect to see more airstrikes by Egypt in the days ahead? I do not have uh, 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 information uh, about uh, what are our future plans, but I know very well that Egypt is resolved to deal with the threat, will take any necessary measure uh, to deal with it. We are also in the same uh, process helping the legitimate uh, Libyan government and its elected parliament uh, to face uh, uh, the danger and the threat of ISIL and other extremist group in Libya. So we've been uh, actively involved before uh, uh, this crime and would remain in the future. Well, yes, uh, how much coordination has there been with Libya? I ask this because one of Libya's parliaments, based in Tripoli, has called uh, these airstrikes an assault on its sovereignty. One of Libya's parliament, because the, in Libya there is only one parliament that has been elected and the whole international community, including the UK, has recognized this parliament as the legitimate parliament of Libya. And with this, with this one and its government, Egypt is in close coordination on daily basis and actually they were informed about our intention before we, we went ahead and bombarded. And finally, uh, these attacks, as we say, have taken place in Libya. How concerned are you about Egypt and Islamic State's influence there? There is no Islamic State in Egypt, per se. There is Islamic State, of course, in, in a very confined area in northern Sinai, 600 kilometers from Cairo. We're dealing with that, and we're dealing quite effectively with that. And now we have what's happening in Libya. Uh, we are concerned that the international community is not doing uh, what it should be doing. Uh, it, is about, it is time that we all act together. The Security Council has to take stock of what happened. Uh, we are fighting in Egypt and in the Arab world for our identity against an organization that is against humanity uh, in, a, in a large sen a sense uh, so uh, I think the, the horrible uh, picture we saw uh, yesterday is a call for Egypt and the Arab world and Europe and the international community to come together, 
unite and fight this uh, organization. Nasser Kamel, Egypt's ambassador to the UK, thank you for your time this afternoon. We appreciate it.